Now I know you guys want to see me go full speed off this ramp right here. Maybe one day I will, not today. I know a lot of people buy these RCs and they just trash them. This is an RC I bought for myself. I didn't buy it to trash it or do like a durability test. Maybe one day I'll launch it off that ramp, but it won't be today. <laughs> wow. I just got my hands on the all new Traxxas XRT. Traxxas' new AS Monster Truck that just came out. <laughs> Some assembly required. Man, that thing is pretty big. Of course, it's X Max size. So I actually haven't seen one of these in person. I have purposely avoided all videos and photos and everything. Even the one they had at the hobby shop, I didn't look at it. So, uh, let's see, I know very little. I know it's like a, a wider, low center of gravity X-Max and it had a Copa's body system on it. I didn't know that much. So, wow, that looks so good. Man, that looks good. That looks so good. I didn't know it was gonna look this good. <laughs> this is the first time of me really seeing this thing in person. The one they had, the hobby shop, they had covered in plastic. I purposely didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see it. I wanted to see it for the first time for myself with mine. And it's orange, it is gorgeous. Man, I, I, it just looks so good. It looks, it looks so good. This vent on front looks so good. Look at that hole cut out of the roof. This nice roof rack. Look, I don't know if you can see the color in that and the way you've got Traxxas and little Traxxas logos and stuff. That looks so good. That little detail looks so good. Of course, the clipless body system, you just pop it from underneath like that. This comes right on off. It's got two fans on it. Look how low everything is on this. They do have the pins like the sledge does, so you can actually put body pins in there and it won't eject the batteries. Of course, there it is side by side with the X-Max. You can see it does sit a whole lot lower. It's a little bit wider, not by a lot. They are, it looks like they have the same length front to back. Yeah, you can see the battery set right here and look how high up everything is on the X-Max. This thing is gonna be very, very grounded. You can see the shocks are a lot longer on the X-Max and the XRT. Look how much shorter the shock towers are on that thing. I know you're gonna ask, I'm running two 6700 four cell Traxxas LiPos, the same thing that goes in the X-Max. Stock out of the box, first run, first impressions. It doesn't work, it says it's on. Got green lights. All right, I just rebound the transmitter and it seems to work. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right, now we get to drive it. I think it's, <laughs> that's a lot of power. <laughs> it feels a little bit like the X-Max. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> this thing is cool. <laughs> this thing is really cool. <laughs> Man, this thing is cool. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's just it's so, the weight is so far down, it just does not want to pick those front wheels up. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, if you want to do wheelies, see, I'll do it a little bit in some circumstances. But for the most part, it doesn't want to bring that front end up. All right, let's see how fast this thing will go. I got the speedometer on there, and whoa, the speed meter. It says they'll do 50 out of the box. Let's find out. Forty-six. So I took it out to my road and I got a real nice run. I know I didn't show you any of that. And uh, it only hit 46 miles an hour. 46 is the fastest it goes. It was a little bit shorter than that 50 miles an hour is advertised. That's not bad, that's still pretty fast. But you do have the optional gearing, which it says they'll do 70 miles an hour with that gearing. I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe 65 or something like that, but that's still pretty fast. Now we're gonna get this bad boy in the air and get a feel for it. You can correct it pretty well in the air. I felt it as soon as I pulsed it. I highly doubt it'll do a backflip though. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, set with a bit of speed now. Oh, it, it flies so nicely. Man, it flies nicely off that ramp. <laughs> now we got a much steeper 45 degree ramp. Ooh, you can correct it in the air pretty well at low speeds. The faster you go, the harder it is to correct because the wheels are already turning at max speed, so you don't have room to pull it up. Now, I may be wrong, but it feels like it corrects easier than the X-Max does. Ooh, through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> that thing comes down so hard the whole neighborhood can hear it i know you guys want to see me come off that ramp full speed but i don't know, I don't know if i want to do that Ooh, that was beautiful <laughs> oh, that was wide open. That was really cool. How far did that? That went pretty far. Zero this out. See how far it goes. Is it right here? There it is, right there. There's the marks right there. So that is 65 feet. That is really good.
If this doesn't kill my Insta360, I'll be amazed. <laughs> Let's see if it survives it. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's the Insta360. <sighs> oh, the little mount stayed on. <laughs> Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. Surprisingly, everything on the inside looks okay. And this little piece right here came unscrewed. I think I just undo that screw and put it back. And that is all that it looks like it did to this thing. I can't believe that was a super hard hit. And you know what? If this thing had a metal chassis, it'd be bent right now. But since it's a good old Traxxas, uh, you know that plastic crap, it can keep on rolling. Got to stick with it. Oh, my first rollover. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Woo. <laughs> okay, mighty close to that tree, didn't I? This is why pine trees suck. <laughs> All right, guys, so what do you think? Is the XRT awesome or what? This is actually my second outro that I filmed because I have been driving this thing for the last three days. But this right here is an RC I bought for myself. I didn't buy it for you guys, I bought it for me. No one's paying me for this video. Traxxas didn't send this thing to me. I had to pay, this thing is $1,000. It is so expensive and it is worth it, I think. A lot of this footage I took on the first day on the second day i did nothing but drive it i had the whole day off and i came in here and drove it every chance i got i i love this thing i didn't really mess up the body that bad the weak point of the body to me looks like it's going to be right here in this area that is where uh, that is where the posts stick up at and these right here hit on the inside other than that the body looks pretty good it's got a little crimp right there on the very tail where the wing comes and hits it. But as you can see, that piece went right back in. No problem at all. Nothing else is broke. This thing has held up fantastically. It is an absolute blast. I love the thing. It handles so well. Just the best way to describe it, imagine an X-Max an X -Max that actually puts the power down to the ground. This thing's got a wider stance. You can see that it's so much wider, it's so much lower, and the suspension and stuff allows it to put the power on the ground where you need it and it gets the traction and it moves 
and it just handles so fantastically. I really like the thing, and it corrects easier in the air. It corrects so much easier in the air. Usually with an X-Max, if you hit this ramp, my 45 degree ramp, if I hit that thing wide open with the X-Max, I can pull that trigger all day long. It's not bringing that nose up. It, whatever it's doing, it's gonna do. This thing, you can actually correct it in the air, and that is amazing to me I, I i love this thing the uh i think the x max is still better for like rougher terrain if you're going to a place where you're going to climb over a bunch of stuff and just you know go off road on a place that's like not smooth or or even at all the x max is probably still king at that but i think the xrt is absolutely worth it it is an absolute look at my face i wasn't even going to record today i wasn't even going to record today but i had so much fun yesterday i wanted to come out here and get some more shots and record some more because i had such a blast with this thing for the last few days but anyways that's all i got for you today guys Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys later.